Hey everyone, we're here today to install a Pinnovator's headphone kit into a Monopoly White Star pinball machine. And basically what this kit consists of is it's a, a daughter board that goes onto your, um, your board in the back of the uh, back box. And then you have this, basically this uh, unit here that you take out your dollar bill validator and basically replace it with this little jack here. So this jack, a headphone uh, would go into this, your, your jack like this would plug into that. This switch right here mutes the pinball machine so when you're playing it through your headphones, you could actually turn that off and mute the sound that's coming from the speakers so it only goes through the, your headphones. And this is your volume control for your headphones when you're playing the game. So if you want to have the sound coming out of both, you would have that in the up position. Now, if you just want to have it through your headphones, you would hit in a down position. So basically, this is going to be a video with three different parts of Pinovators, or four different parts. A um, spike, hopefully, um, because I don't have one right now, but I'm hoping to either get one or find one that I could do this in. A white star, a WPC-95, and also um, a white water. And I, I don't know if that's a Fliptronics. I kind of forgot which version that is. It's de definitely not uh, like anything that's newer than than that. So I believe that's what it is. It's a Fliptronics uh, board in there. So basically we're going to put one in that too. And we're just going to show the install and, and how to do all that. And then see how it actually works. So stay tuned for the videos. And... I'll show the install and everything of how to do everything. Thanks. Okay, the first thing what we're going to do now to install this uh, Pinovator's sound board into this Monopoly, which is a White Star uh, board set in here, is if you go here where my finger is, there's a, a connector right here next to these two heat sinks on the top board of the uh, back box. So you need to take this off. And it's a CN4. So that comes off like that and then you would take the board that comes with the kit which is here and it has a, a network uh, cable in it an RJ45 uh, connector in here and then you take your patch cable and you plug it into that first I kind of do it this way so you just kind of you know plug it in so you hear it snap in there and then you would take the female side which is on this side with the holes and just take it and it's notched also to the third notch down from the top there's no uh, there's no pin so the same with this connector there's no pin on it so then you just kind of take it and plug it in that way and just push it in I believe it's in and then you take the connector that you took out initially and plug it into the top of that connector so it's a, basically like a sandwich of it and then you go like that and then you take your patch cable and you kind of run it down the uh, the left side here of your back box so you just kind of get it past the uh, the bulb here And then basically you put it through this wire harness connected, you know, the, the clamp here to keep your wires tidy in the back here. And then take down your DMD panel. Let's zoom out so you can see that part. So now you take down your DMD panel, which is the speaker panel here. Take that down. And then just take your cable after you do that 
and just there's a hole on the left hand side here just drop it down into your cabinet and then what you're going to do is just feed it through the bottom of your cabinet to the front of the coin door and next we're going to get to the coin door part of where this cable actually connects to okay so now I drop the cable down into the cabinet and as you can see um, this cable right here, this patch cable right here that we plugged into the back of the back box into that little uh, uh, daughter board. Um, I just put it through the wire harnesses, you know, that kind of keep the wires uh, clean and, you know, just tied up with everything else. Here, back there, and then basically I just ran it through this connector or this, this clamp here, and then this, this clamp here. And then this goes to the coin door, this part, and the cable's long enough like to put it through all this and have enough slack so the, uh, the play field could go back into the cabinet. So don't be afraid of like not having enough slack to uh, you know have the wire kind of go through all these clamps and all that to keep them clean and all that. So basically what we're going to do now is put the... In these slots here, these that's where the dollar bill uh, machine would go, like to make uh, quarters, you know, so you could put a dollar into it. And they're like access doors that come off from the other side of the coin door. If you go on this side here, we need to remove these nuts that are down here and here and here, these four, to take this door off. And basically, it's like the, uh, the, co the coin bill validator. It's basically what would go into these uh, these holes here once this door comes off. So that's where the other part of this uh, pinnovators section goes, and it's basically this part right here. And if you look at the other side, that's where the cable plugs into, is that uh, that jack right there. And basically, when you take the bolts off, this goes to the front of the coin door and this is where you plug in your headphone and this is where you can mute the pinball machine or not and this is your volume uh, knob to make your headphones louder or uh, quieter when you're playing the game so we're gonna put this in next and then pretty much be done with the installation okay so the next part like we discussed earlier is that these four nuts have to come off the back of the coin door to put the front of the uh, the headphone jack in. So basically we're going to put it in the bottom here. So I'm using 11.30 seconds uh, nut driver to take these nuts off. And... And once you get these off, being a bit difficult so we'll just loosen it up a bit more and then the spacers come off and then this whole assembly comes out and then you would put in your pinnovators uh, door here with I said like we talked about before all the uh, the components on the front of that door and it goes up that way with the two tabs sticking up and it just slides over the nuts where we had them before with the other door. And then just put in your nuts again. Had a nut in there.
and then you would tighten those down and then take your patch cable that came from the back box and just plug it in there and that's it and that's the installation so let's put everything together and then try it out and see how everything works when installing the pinnovator uh, door over here in the front of your coin door don't forget to put in your ground wire when screwing this nut back in. Usually I put it in the right top hand corner over here and that's where I screwed the ground wire into and then just put the nut on top of that so everything's secure and the pin invaders is grounded to the uh, pinball machine. Okay, now the installation is finished and the uh, everything is put back into the coin door, all the cabling is run. So if we start a game I want to be the you can mute the game by hitting that switch down and it mutes the game and everything now if you had your headphones plugged in it would just go to the headphones but either way if the headphones are plugged in it goes either way but this just mutes the machine uh, or turns the speakers on the machine on and off and then, again this is your volume knob for your speakers so the installation is really easy it can be really any easier than what it is it took me no joke if 10 minutes to do it in this game and uh, as I said in my intro, we're going to have like four other models. We're going to be doing this in a uh, uh, Sam board for Stern, a WPC-95 for Williams, and I believe the, uh, the Fliptronics style for like Whitewater and games like that. So stay tuned for those videos after this one. Okay, so now we're here looking at a, a safe cracker machine, which is in the family of the WPC95 uh, series. So basically, what you need to do now is to install this pinnovators kit, is you take this board that's here, the little daughter board that goes onto the back box here, the board that's in the back here, where your sound comes out of right here, these two right here. Um, this plugs into these two connectors. So if you take these off like that and what I do is I plug in the patch cable first into this little port here just so it's easier before that once it's installed it's kind of hard to get into sometimes so I just plug it in that way and then the female ends here plug into the male pins that are on the board over here so we just take it this way with your uh, cable, network cable, going to the left. And then we just kind of line it up this way. And just push it on until it seats all the way. And then you take your two uh, cables that you took off your board earlier and just plug them onto the, the mouse side I don't think I have it fully on. To the mouse side of the pins of this board that stick out. And I believe that they're pinned. Yeah, so they're going in the wrong way actually. Okay, so that one goes there. And then the other one I dropped down goes here. So you can't really put them on backwards because like I said they're pinned so they just fit in one way and that's it. And then you would take your cable that's coming, this goes to your uh, coin door in the front of the machine and now you try to clean it up going you know the way that you run the cable so you kind of got you have to run it like you can run it this way and use your wire ties on the side here which I'll probably do just to kind of get it out of the way and then you just kind of like get it in there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand here. But, you know, and then you kind of just continue the process with all the other cables that the uh, ties that are on the side of the back box here. And then you would run this cable down to the bottom of your back box of your pinball machine and then you run it through the uh, pinball machine like I showed on the Mon Monopoly uh, pinball machine that we did earlier in the video. So let's uh, 
go to that part of it, I'll lift up the play field and then we can look down into the cabinet and see actually how the cable runs in the cabinet. So now you can see that we have the play field that's up in the upright position here. And now we're looking inside the cabinet and that this black cable here, this long black cable, this one, put my finger right here, uh, this right here, is going through all the wire organizers inside the cabinet to kind of keep it neat and uh, you know away from the, the play field when it goes up or down so it doesn't get tangled into nothing. So I kind of ran it through you know all of them leading up to the coin door. So now what we're going to do in the install is show the end of this cable here, how it goes into the coin door and connects into the coin door and also how to apply the, uh, the actual connector into the coin door for this cable to connect into. Okay, so now we're here at the coin door and what we're going to do is remove these two nuts and these two Phillips head screws and this whole panel comes off. So basically if we go and I can find it the right. So if we take this and just unloosen this, you can just spin these off like once you loosen them up enough. And if you take your Phillips head and just take off these screws, this whole panel comes off and then you replace it with this panel here. So you want to have it so you know your switches and everything go on the outside so it basically mounts up like this way with the two big holes up on top here kind of get your wires out of the way and then these holes kind of line up and then the I've kind of forgot to these two Phillips head screws have to come out as well and then apply these long ones for the bottom part of that so uh, I'm gonna go and do that and come back once we have the actual pin evaders uh, coin door back in Okay, so now all I did was I put these two Phillips head screws back in and these longer Phillips head screws. And what you need to do is put this ground cable on something like on this stud here that comes out of the, uh, the coin door. And then just take your two nuts again and try to get them back onto the studs. And then just lock these down, these two nuts. Just hold that down so it doesn't move all over. Take your patch cable that comes from your back box that attached to the daughter board and just lock it into to here, click into the uh, little board here on your coin door and that's it. So now it should work. You should be able to put your headphones into it and hear sound through your headphones and also the pinball machine. So again, this is for a WPC95 installation. The last one we did was for Monopoly. And next what we're going to do is, I believe it's a Fliptronics 2, it's a Whitewater. And I believe that's the model of, uh, of what that Williams pinball machine was at the time. So we'll do that next. Right, so we're here now with my white water and this is a Fliptronics 2 model I believe by Williams and then so what we need to do to install this uh, Pinnovators unit on to here this little daughter board on the Pinnovators as we've done on all the other videos and machines that I have is remove these two cables here these two connectors these are the uh, sound connectors on this board the sound board and then this replaces that these two and then those connectors plug into the male pins on this board. 
once we take those two off. So what we're going to do is install our network cable or J45 cable onto that. And then basically what we're going to do now is take off these two connectors here and then take the female side of this connector that were that came with the kit and basically move these out of the way and attach it that way so you really can only put it on one way because this cable has to clear this heat sink so and then basically attach your cables back now to this connector like that so now that's installed there and then take your cable and then drop it into the you know the back box here into the back of the uh, the machine where it goes down to your play, your uh, cabinet I should say. So you have to remove your play field and then run the cable through the cabinet to the front door of the uh, pinball machine. So we'll do that next. Okay so now uh, I ran the cable to the front of the game and basically what you need to do is remove these two nuts on top and these two screws here and then these two screws here. So all those well, six come out and then basically you take the plate out of here and then you put the new uh, Pinnovator's plate in there to replace it and then basically that's it and then you take your cable that you ran to the front of your game from the uh, back box and then plug it into your connector there and that's really it and then you go and turn on the machine and hope that you have sound so basically, that's how you would install it. They're all pretty much the same except for the back box. You know, that's your difference of the uh, the different makes of the games and where the uh, actually daughter board plugs into. But everything else is pretty much the same with the coin doors might be a little different, but not crazy different. So again, the mod is so easy to install. It takes me 10 minutes per game. It's probably one of the easiest mods I've had to install and it actually sounds really good. So the next game that we're going to go do is Adam's Family. And that one's a little bit different because there's no uh, dollar uh, slot on that one where you could take the plate off to put in your, uh, your, your machine over there for, to make uh, dollars or take dollars into the pinball machine. So that's what we're going to go do next. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, so here we are on our last Pinnovator install, and this is the Adams family. And this one is a bit special with the way that everything needs to be installed because there's no, as you can see at the coin door here, there's no uh, validator slot for the dollar. So what you need to do is mount it externally, like down there, basically, on the cabinet. And I can't really do an install as I was installing it, like a video to show that because I have to go underneath the cabinet and to hold the camera and to actually screw everything in, the wiring and all that would have been a bit difficult to do. So basically what I'm going to do is just show how I ran all the cabling. So if you go to do this, you kind of know where everything goes and you know the, the, the way the wire runs and all that kind of stuff. So let's go into the cabinet and take a look at how the wiring is run to the back box underneath the, uh, the cabinet of the pinball machine. Okay, so here we are under the cabinet. And basically, you could see that box of what we just showed on the outside of the pinball machine. And basically, the cable goes all the way back from that box where your headphones plug into. And it goes all the way back to the cabinet. And there's a vent hole on the bottom over here in this bottom right-hand corner. So that network cable goes, you kind of put a little like hole in that little vent. It's just like a piece of plastic. And the cable just runs up that vent hole to your back box. So basically we'll show how that goes after uh, we get out from underneath the cabinet here. But basically you just run your cable and, you, and then you screw in these like wire, you know, holders. So the wires flop all over the place, the fasteners. So 
and then again it goes all the way down there and then basically we're, there's also a ground wire too that comes off of that box that green wire and that goes through a little hole that's basically goes into your cabinet in the front where your a coin box would be so you have to remove your coin box that there's like a like that it's like a hollow screw hole in there so that wire fits in there that ground wire goes up to the front of your cabinet and we'll show how you screw the ground wire to the we you actually uh, screw it to the power box inside the cabinet so we'll show how that's done next okay so that green wire that we're showing on the bottom of the cabinet comes up here so you got to take your coin box out runs here and then I just screwed it to the ground uh, nut over here on your uh, auxiliary power and then that goes there and that's it and you fasten everything down and that would be your ground to the actual uh, pinnovators uh, headphone jack so now what we're going to do is go to the back box and check out how the wiring is done over there okay so now we're in the back box of the pinball machine and basically I went through the, the cabinet where the play field is went through the vent hole on the bottom like what we showed originally and just fed the cable up to here where your hole would be in here in the middle of your back box and just fed it through all the wire fasteners here along the side of the back box and it actually connects over here to this board here that we put in and the two connectors that were there originally screw just pop onto that board that little daughter board in place of what was there before and your network cable cable pops onto that as well so that's basically how the whole thing actually works with um, the Pinnovator set. So it's actually pretty easy. At first I thought it would be a bit difficult to do, but it actually wound up to be fairly easy install. Give me five, give me that which I desire. Okay, so here we are now, and what we're going to do is install the Pinnovator uh, input door on my Metallica SAM system machine. And what you need to do to get the door installed, like all the other ones, is remove these bolts here because this door comes off this plate. So the door, or the plate, I should say, for the Pinnovator's system here will replace that as the, it has on all the other things that I've done. And basically, now what you need to do is remove, it's the bolts here, it's this one, that one, and this one, and this one down here. So they all come off, and then we replace it with that door. So let's go do that, I'm going to remove those and install the door, and then show you the remaining installation of what needs to be done. Okay, so now we have our coin, the uh, Pinnovator's uh, dollar validator plate back in that replaces the validator plate. And I screwed, bolted and screwed everything back in. Don't forget to put your ground over here, you know, on top of this nut when you're screwing everything back in again. So um, now what we're going to do, there's another process to this uh, SAM system here. And there's this little cable here with a little wire uh, tie on it. So you need to snip that wire tie off with a pair of like little wire cutter snips here and then basically what you do is you just take the the wire tie off the old one and then you take this part of the coin door or the you know the pinnovators door and you kinda run it on the top of where your other cabling is here just so after we're done we can wire tie that to those wires to clean everything up so it doesn't get snagged on anything and then drop it down here to this position and then what you want to do is take this uh, little sandwich of wires here and take your cable, take the top part off, and just add that to the, uh, the Z clip or the Z connector. So you would plug that in there and then the wire that you took off of the Z connector will go to the top of the cable you just put in from your Pinnovators uh, kit here, like that. So now you sandwiched the coin door, or, the, or I'm sorry, the Pinnovator's coin door, uh, you know, 
unit here where the headphones and all that plug in your and your network cable plugs into from the back box and now you completed the circuit now so they get sound and now all you want to do now is just take your wire ties and kind of just tie this up so it doesn't go anywhere so I usually I just put like two on And that's it. And let's take your snips. And just snip the excess of the of the wire tie. And that's it. So now your wire up here is kind of added to you know the other unit. Maybe I'll put one more here too, just where it comes out, just so it's, you know. It's really not going to go nowhere, but but that's it. So that's it for the coin door. Now what we're going to do is go up to the back box, like we did in all the other videos, and put the daughter board onto the board in the back box and run our cable through the machine, and the installation will be complete. Okay, so now we're in the back box of the Metallica machine here. And basically what you need to do is this connector here where my finger is uh, needs to come out like that and then be replaced with this connector here which would plug into that port in what, that uh, connector what we just took out. So the female side would go into that because it's a male pin. But what I like to do with these, these uh, Pinnovator connector first and put the cable into what needs to go in. Sometimes it's a tight fit. So I just plug that in first. And then what I do is then I just take the connector of the female side here and just plug it into the, uh, the connector. So the green pot and the other connector that is a male connector goes faces to the left. If you want any positioning, you know, of how that connector goes in. Now, I think it's key, so it only goes in one way, but. Next, after you put that little daughter board in and you connect your cable here, you need to plug in the cable that came out of that connector initially back to the board to get sound to come out of uh, both your pinball machine and your headphones. Maybe that's the wrong way. Yeah. And now you should have sound coming both out of your headphones and pinball machine. Just in case. And I just take my cable here and just run it to the back box. Let me zoom out a bit just so you can kind of see that. Uh, so your, your cable here now will drop down to the back box and we're going to run it through the cabinet and then connect it to the coin door. Okay, so I dropped the cable down to the back box, ran it through the cabinet as you can see through the, um, through all the wire, you know, uh, ties over here, the the way that all the other wiring is kind of connected through. And then basically it goes to the coiner that's there and then the cable would plug in there. So that's the end of the connection to the, uh, the system here. And then basically that's it. And that's how everything works. So really all you do then is plug in your headphones into here. And you have your mute switch for the uh, pinball machine. If you want the sound to come out of both the machine and the headphones, and this is your volume knob, and you also have your your power, your volume to the uh, machine itself through these buttons right here, the top and bottom. So basically, that's how the unit works. It's a great great system. It works really well. 
All right, that's the end of the video, and thanks for watching the uh, Pinnovators install on all the different game systems that I have. Uh, like I said, for all the different game systems, the install couldn't be any easier. It took probably 10 minutes tops to install it on each system that I did. So uh, the system's really well done. It's a great system. It works really well with the headphones and all the other stuff in the install. Like I said, it couldn't be any easier. So it, it was designed really, really well and, you know, really uh, durable. So, and again, you could order that from Pinnovators.com, the, the, uh, the headphone kit for any of your games. So again... Thanks everybody for viewing my pages, viewing my videos on YouTube. I'm up to like almost 450 now. I think I'm subscribers on my YouTube page. Really appreciate it. And uh, it could be seen at www.pinballsupernova.com. That's my homepage. And all the links to everything else are there to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, my blog, which has all the latest news and information on Pinball Daily. And uh, I, get, uh, I get a lot of uh, positive feedback from that as well. So again, I really appreciate all the support from everybody. And stay tuned for the next video when uh, I do it. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.